smoky. I'll give you 200 pounds for it. All right, you're in. <laughs> Right, so those messages were from a few days ago and at the top of my road there should hopefully be a BMW E39 525D that I now own. But before we go and check it out, hello, welcome to Car Throttle. I'm Alex, behind the camera is Jack. Say hi Jack. Hi. Hey. Today is Wednesday the 13th of May and under the new government guidelines for COVID-19 we are actually allowed to film. We are keeping more than two meters distance so we're doing everything we can to be as safe as possible now i've got the keys that the previous owner joey put through my letterbox so i'm halfway there to ownership so there's a few things that i know about this 525d one it hasn't been serviced for an awfully long time two he says there are some goodies in the car for me and three i paid 150 pounds I don't even know where the car is. I don't see it. We're running out of road. So you know how Lucas sent me a message about his Civic and then Ethan and I drove to Bristol to go and pick it up. Yeah. It's the same kind of deal. Joey was like, hey, I'm skipping the country. Do you want my car for cheap? I see a 5 Series behind the Duke. It's there, Jack. It exists. It's real. It's real. I'm a real car. Look at it. What a beautiful machine. It's got a chop sticker as well. You're welcome for the free shout out, Mighty Car Mods. Oh, here she is. My 150 pounds E39. There's another set of wheels, standard E39 wheels. They're probably worth about 80 quid alone. Full leather interior, manual gearbox. These alloys are pretty disgusting. Not a fan, you? You probably like them. They're horrible. Really? Got a nice bit of rust there at the front. It's got me written all over it. Few scratches, few dings. Shall we see if the key matches the car? Like the, the golden slipper, the glass slipper. Before you turn into a pumpkin. All right, by right, the power vested in me, open. <laughs> This is amazing, electric everything. The seats look in good nick as well. They look they? really good, yeah. Oh, I'm impressed with my purchase. Hold on a second, is this, what, what are we looking at down here, Jack? Is this a set of roof bars? It is. I think it is. That now means that this car is the most practical car in the world, because its boot is no longer its limitations. I love roof racks. The wheels look in good nick. The tires are shot. It's important to note as well, this car was dropped off at my house last Thursday at I think half past six in the morning, as was the key. Today is Wednesday, so it's been six days. So we have left the car long enough for anything bad to die. Speaking of which, we've also got some face masks. I feel I'm more Hammond sized, don't you? Is it like the real thing? It's uncanny. Hello, welcome to my E39 525D. <laughs> right? This is proper bangonomics right here. Tissues. Yes. And a pipe. Every BMW owner needs a good pipe. Goodies for the roof rack, all the mounting things, engine flush, oil filter. Get Ethan to put that on. And in here. CDs. CDs. Oh! We've got a compressor. Uh, we've got a battery charger as well. That's really good of him. That's really cool. Why is it moist? Oh dear, does that mean that there could be moisture in the rear of my BMW? Quite possibly. <laughs> See what we've got in here. What's the chances it's full? Negative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most empty one I've ever seen one. But we do have the uh, locking wheel nut, which is very, very useful. Because these, these wheels have to come off because they're disgusting. If anyone wants a set of wonderful alloy wheels, HMU in the DMs. I mean, it's hit me up by the way for people who aren't as road as me. Oh, we got another wheel. So there you go. Five E39 wheels and a jack. What do you call that one? A widow maker, wasn't it? Widow maker, yeah. jack, I like that. Cool. Shall we have a look at the engine? So underneath the hood, we should have an M51 D25. Single turbo diesel, 2.5, straight six. 
Oh, that is a lump, isn't it? 143 brake horsepower, 207 pound-foot of torque. But it looks super clean under here. There's no massive oil leaks that I can see. This is the cleanest part of the car. I'm impressed. Shall we see if it chugs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dashboard is working fine. Three, two, one. Oh, I love that sound. This for me is how a diesel should sound. Properly meaty. Even the exhaust sounds really cool, doesn't it? Properly burbly. Oh, <laughs> come and have a look. There's a reason why it sounds burbly. See, there's a bit of exhaust missing. While the car warms up, the pads look like they've got a little bit of meat left on them. They don't need to be changed immediately. The car has got MOT, I think, until September time. The tyres, not actually too bad. I think all in all, even if this car drives like a dog, 150 quid, you can't argue with that. In its current state, it's probably worth 400 quid without even driving it. If it moves, seven or 800 quid, I reckon. Anyway, shall I give it some revs now? Smokey. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> is that right? Not quite right, is it? So we've definitely got an exhaust leak. <coughs> Nothing that can't be fixed. That's enough of that. Overall thoughts, Jack, before even driving the car? I'll give you £200 for it. All right, you're in. Now, for f sake, Alex, not again. If you don't shake my hand, it's not legally binding. Well, let, me, let me just... Right, let's get his tyre pumped up and then we'll go for a little drive. And when I say we'll go for a little drive, we're going to set up the camera in the car and it'll just be me. Jack, you can wait here and cut this man's hedge. All right. Needs doing. 191,000 miles on the clock. All right, let's have a look what we're working with. 10.5 PSI. Ooh. We don't like that. Right, so while Jack was getting all the shots, he actually noticed something that looks very much like a train horn. So let's see if it actually is and if it works. <laughs> right, hello everyone and welcome to my 150 pound BMW E39. I've always wanted an E39. The dream for me, right, would be a touring 530 petrol, you know, the one with a dirty single exit exhaust. Anyway, this is a 525D, which is awesome as well, because a six cylinder diesel is like one of the best things in the world. Oh, oh. All right, oil service inspection. I think you're about four years overdue. Under here, there's a whole bunch of cards. South sitting, big up yourself, South sitting. Let's go for a drive in a 150 pound E39 525D and see what's what, shall we? Oh, listen, to, listen to that. I do love a bit of diesel smoke in the morning. <laughs> oh, did you also feel that bump? Now there wasn't actually a bump in the road. So should we investigate what that was? Oh, the engine mounts are probably completely shot. But apart from that, when you drive it smoothly so far, he says after driving for no more than 30 seconds. Feels good, you know, it feels pretty solid. There's no weird rattles or anything coming from the dashboard. The only rattles and squeaks I'm getting are from the tires behind me. And for a car with 191,703 miles, that's pretty astonishing. Getting a knock from the suspension as well. So probably bushes are a bit buggered. The gator here for the gearbox has come loose. It's just little niggly bits that you'd expect, but. It's got loads of poke. <laughs> 150 pounds very well spent i am a very happy boy and a car like this i think it deserves a bit of love so let me know in the comments what you want me to do with the car i want to keep it budget friendly spending five grand on this would be kind of poor taste oh that's a nice bike so joey thank you very much i'll take good care of this car and why not call him dave it'll be rough around the edges you know mate be a bit of a smoker but you know, he's got a good art, you know what I mean? Well, before I go, let's actually have a quick word with the previous owner, Joey. Everybody, this is Joey. This is the fella who gave me Dave 
the E39 for 150 quid. Why did you get in contact with me? Why did you have to get rid of the car and why so cheap? I had to get rid of the car because I moved to Norway from England, of course. Best time to travel during lockdown because that's always fun. Um, I thought to myself, we buy any car. And I thought of Alex. I thought of you. And I was like, oh, Alex is never going to get back to me. And then you said, how cheap is dirt cheap? Like, yeah. <laughs> he's buying the car. <laughs> yeah, he's bitten. Tell me a little bit about the history of the car. Where did you get it from? How much did you pay? Stuff like that. Well, I got free from my dad. Amazing. Because, uh, he moved over to Hong Kong. And um, my car at the time blew up the engine. Well, I blew up the engine. But, um, <laughs> So there's a free car going, I might as well take it. I know the wheels are obviously not standard and the exhaust is a little bit suspect. Was that was that your handiwork? Yes, it, it was amazingly quiet. I got a bit bored of it, so I was thinking, yeah, I could probably just cut off the muffler and get a little bit of noise. Wheels, dirt cheap actually. I got on Marketplace for like 120 quid. It was a bargain, I might as well go with it. And it came with spaces. And the uh, air horn, which you probably have been enjoying, which I just brought because why not? It was out of eBay. <laughs> I like your style, man. You might as well get it because why not? I, I had plans on giving it a service to really um, making it quite nice. But as soon as moving to Norway went on the cards, I was like, Oh, there's no point really. I just... <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, well, it, it chugs along really nicely, man. So um, I'll give it a good old service. And who knows, we might even do a bit of a series on it, cleaning it up a bit like uh, Chris Fix Styley. From me and from everybody watching, this is the man that we've got to thank. This is Joey, Chef Joey NG on Instagram. So go give him a follow because he gave me a car dirt cheap and it means more entertainment for you and an awesome car for me. Joey, man, uh, thanks very much. It's awesome to virtually meet you and I wish you and your girlfriend the best new life in Norway. It sounds awesome. Thank you very much, Alex. Hope you enjoy the car. And there you go. That is a bit of history about this car. So he got it from his dad free of charge, hasn't really been serviced. And because he was moving to Norway with his girlfriend, he just wanted to get rid. And who better to give it to than me? Because I can't say no to an old BMW, especially when they're 150 pounds. If you've got more 150 pound cars, then hit me up on the DMs, all right? Right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my 150 pound E39 525D. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the car with me today. It's been, it's been awesome, and I've got loads of cool toys. I've got another BMW on my driveway. Anyway, we've got more of these cheap shitbox videos on the channel, so if you like what you see, then subscribe to Car Throttle over there. Check out more videos, like I said, over there. Have a great week, stay safe, stay sane. See you soon.